So the question is, what is the perfect diet? Okay, what, what would you think would be the most perfect diet in the world? Because there's a millions of them, and if you start doing Google searches, you're going to be very, very, very confused. So what I want to do to answer that question is to give you a principle that you should eat for nutrients, because the healthiest, most perfect diet in the world would satisfy all of the nutrient requirements. I'm not talking about eating some food and taking some synthetic vitamins with it or having a food that has enriched with synthetic vitamins. That's not perfect. I'm talking about a diet that would satisfy all the nutrients that you need, um, a, a diet that would, be, that would create the most health and have the properties in those foods that would enhance and prevent the most health problems. Like there are foods out there that prevent cancer. There are foods out there that will prevent macular degeneration in your vision, uh, that will help protect you down the road and bulletproof your health um, preventively. And then the most perfect diet would be those foods that would contain the most, um, that are most natural. Okay, so of course uh, you have the difference between uh, wild caught and farm raised fish, which would be like, like hormone pellets and things like that, or uh, free range versus uh, farm, like in this, in this barn where they have 3,000 chickens in one tiny little cage, or you have organic versus regular hormone-fed animals, like that type of thing, uh, or pesticides sprayed on the foods. So the most perfect diet obviously wouldn't include those, and it wouldn't include GMO foods, genetically modified foods, so you want to look at the food, the foods that would satisfy the majority of the deficiencies. Now, it makes no sense to take vitamins unless your food, your eating is corrected. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to tell you this. You want to look at food from a different angle, not necessarily what you feel like eating this all the time, but what, during a given day, how am I going to get the nutrition, okay? Um, but how do you know that? That's kind of, um, it's hard to find that. So what I did is I created some software. It took me over two years, and I personally invested of my own money about $150,000 to build this software. So I hope you appreciate it because it's a free software for anyone. And all it does is it analyzes what you eat in a given day, and it compares it with all the nutrients that you should be having for your age, uh, for your sex, male or female, and it will then tell you what you're deficient in, okay? And then not only that, it'll tell you what foods to eat more of and then the amounts that you need to eat them. Why is that viable? Because very few people are getting enough nutrition from the diet that they're eating right now. And so what we want to do is know, are we deficient well before we become deficient? So this is more of like preventative stuff. Why would you wait until you're deficient in a, a nutrient to develop a problem and then try to fix it with a vitamin when you can actively eat the nutrition right over here so you never end up like that. So it's, it's very, very, very uh, simple and very logical. But to do that, you really need to evaluate what you do eat because let's just take one mineral, potassium. Potassium is needed in the amounts of 4,700 milligrams per day. Now, you might say, well, I eat a banana. Really? Well, that's about 400 milligrams. You need four, you're not going to eat 12 bananas a day. So what you can do is you can find out what foods have the highest potassium, not just bananas, and then eat more of those if you're deficient. And then it will evaluate some of the trace minerals that you need too, like iodine and selenium. All these trace minerals that are not in our soils in the U.S., they're probably in Hawaii because the volcanic ash laid out the trace minerals and um, in Italy probably or Europe or Russia or even Africa but not in America because we don't put these trace minerals back into the soil so you want to start focusing on foods that have the most nutrition but what I did is I create some software to make it easy for you to figure that out okay so what I want you to do is to go down here click the link below fill out one day of food and it will do the rest it will evaluate all your information Compare it to what, what you should be uh, getting nutrition-wise. It'll graph it for you, uh, and then it'll tell you what foods to put more attention on over time. And I would recommend to take this quiz maybe once a month to get an idea if you're how far, how close, or how far away you are from the ideal perfect diet.
so take the quiz and apply the information.